Welcome back, bandits, to the Red Dead Redemption 2 show, episode 5, here on the channel. One of the last episodes you'll see on this ranch here today. However, I'm excited to move on to gameplay and many more videos for you all in just a few days. Guys, what an amazing community we've built over this game on the channel. I can't thank you all enough for sticking with the bandit army, staying strong, and above all, being supportive here on the channel. Red Dead Redemption 2 is 3 days away until release and I can't wait to make many gameplay videos, tips, tricks, videos here on the channel and a playthrough for you guys and if you haven't already, I'm gonna say it, consider subscribing if you want to stay tuned with all the latest information and easter egg videos. We're pretty much gonna be covering everything about this game. So first of all in the news, a shipment of Red Dead Redemption 2 was allegedly stolen and a huge leak last night came out online. Part of the map got leaked and also part of some gameplay got leaked. 24 seconds of gameplay has now been leaked online. Now in this leaked gameplay, it's no story spoilers or anything like that. Basically, it's just Arthur Morgan wearing some awesome clothing. They show us the map, the weapon wheel, um, and you're going to be asking me about this map. So let's start with that. They don't show the entire map because the map does have that fog of war over it. And what fog of war is, is much like GTA 5, when you haven't discovered an area on the map, you're not able to see it. It's as simple as that. So in order to actually see the entire map, you have to traverse and travel the entire map so they only showed us a small segment of the game the second part is the weapon wheel yes they did show us some of that and they also showed us some shooting and i have to say guys it definitely looks like the shooting mechanics are going to be awesome in this game now the leak is probably offline now i'll try and link it in the description below if you guys want to watch some of that gameplay however rockstar games have been completely locking down on this in the last few days so i wouldn't be surprised guys if the gameplay is no longer available i cannot believe that there's actually real leaked gameplay online i was looking through reddit gta forums and pretty much anywhere to try and get my hands on any early gameplay to try and see how the game really plays and how it looks and i must say if the leak is no longer online i will say that it does look spectacular and the graphics and color look absolutely amazing now that's as much as i'm going to describe about the leaked gameplay because of course i don't really want to get into trouble or anything like that so i've been very vague on the things that i saw but then again there should be some more leaks coming up in the next few days now there's actually a way that you guys can play Red Dead Redemption 2 early through a system setting on the Xbox and I'm not so sure if that's the same on PlayStation but the way you can do it is if you set up an Xbox account and set your region to Australia then purchase some Australian or New Zealand gift cards or vouchers from the Xbox Marketplace or somewhere online like G2A.com, you guys can actually download Red Dead Redemption 2 from the New Zealand or Australian Marketplace and play the game up to 12 hours earlier than anyone else. Now the reason for that is, is because Red Dead Redemption 2 is a global release on the 26th, which means no matter in the world where you are, as long as it's the 26th, the game is legally able to be played and you're allowed to play it. So Australia being ahead of of us actually reached the 26th of October far earlier than us in the United Kingdom and in America. I believe it's about 12 hours earlier. So therefore, if you set your region to Australia, download the game to your Xbox and play it that way, you will have access to Red Dead Redemption 2 early. It's something I'm trying myself. Don't go and do it just because I said so. If you do choose to do this, you'll be doing it on your own accord and with your own warning because of course you can get banned from the Xbox Live Marketplace. So that is why I'm doing it on a separate account on a separate Xbox. I've actually got a second Xbox purely for this reason only and I will let you guys know if it does work and of course I will get some gameplay pre-downloaded and ready to schedule for release on release day for you guys so you can enjoy that on my channel. Today I'm not going through many Q&A questions but if you would like your Q&A questions answered in the next episode please leave them down below. Comment hashtag Q&A and then leave your question for the next episode one day before release. Thursday will be the last day that we make a Red Dead Redemption 2 show. So if you guys want some final questions answered then make sure you put that 
in there as well. Now in these next few days, you guys are probably going to want to try and avoid spoilers. So I just want to reiterate the statement that I said the other day that this channel won't be spoiling anything story related. And of course, after the release, I will be playing the game doing a playthrough, but I'll make sure all my titles and thumbnails are spoiler free. I want to make sure you guys feel safe, subscribe to this channel and feel like you can get your tips and tricks and also know when a playthrough episode is uploaded and of course be free from spoilers from that as well. I don't want some of you guys to unsubscribe because you're scared because you're going to get the game spoiled because you're not. So guys that just about wraps up today's episode. Of course this was a little bit different to what we usually do but the next episode will be our final episode. The grand finale will try and answer so many Q&A questions in that one so make sure you leave them down below and of course I will see you guys in the next one. Adios.